Hi everyone, I'm David Aragona, and this is the April 7th edition of Horses to Watch, where we highlight some horses that might have had adversity in their prior starts and could be worth following in their future races. This week on the show, we're going to take a look back at two maiden races from last week. They started their Keeneland meet on Saturday. We're going to take a look from one race there. We're also going to look at a race from Saturday's Wood Memorial card at Aqueduct. Both of these maiden sprint races on the dirt, and we're going to take a look at two horses that were actually making their debuts in these races. Both lost, but I think they might be fo worth following in different spots in the future. We're going to begin with that race in New York from Aqueduct on Saturday. It was race three on the card, going six furlongs for some maiden New York breads. Let's break these runners from the gate. We're going to focus on the number three, Nemo's Fortune, as we watch the head-on of this start. And you can see that horse in the red cap in the middle that's highlighted there just gets slammed from both sides. And the horse in the blue cap that comes all the way over from the outside post really interferes with him as he crosses over to the inside to take the lead. And you'll see it here again on the pan shot is that horse in the yellow and red really has to steady badly. He kind of gets knocked sideways as they come out of the gate. And that forces him to get steadied back to the back of the pack in the early go of this race. The horse that's on the lead, bar 14, you might remember is a horse that I actually highlighted on a previous episode of Horses to Watch, and he takes a big step forward here to set the pace in this race and almost hang on, but he's going to cause some real problems for Nemo's Fortune, the number three, who's the horse that I'm highlighting in this episode. And you see, after that troubled start, Kendrick Carmouche, who's riding Nemo's Fortune, finds a pretty good spot for him on the inside, and he's making the best of a bad situation, having gotten steady back at the start. He's now trying to make up that ground while saving ground coming up the rail around the far turn and it looks like you might actually be able to salvage a win in this race as they come into the stretch but you're going to see the leader bar 14 is going to create some more problems for nemo's fortune once they get into the de into deep stretch now you see Nemo's Fortune's covered in dirt, having taken all that kickback coming around the turn, but he's still running at the end of this race, and he's trying to split horses here as they come past the eighth pole. But watch the rider on the leader, bar 14, Luis Cardenas. He takes out the left-handed stick, and as he's whipping that horse left-handed, he starts to drift out very badly to the right, and you see there at the end, he forces Nemo's Fortune to alter course pretty dramatically in the final 16th of a mile. That cost him some momentum and probably cost him the victory in this race. Nemo's Fortune was a first-time starter for for Bruce Levine, who seemed to be really cranked up to win first time out, but just given the adversity at the start and that trouble in the stretch, I think it prevented him from winning. He still put in a respectable third place finish, got a 67 buyer for this race, and I'd imagine he'll be pretty tough if he comes back against New York Bread Company for his second start in a few weeks, potentially late at Aqueduct or at the Belmont Park meet in the spring. Let's move on to another maiden race. This one is, as I said at the top of the show, from the beginning of that Keeneland meet. This is from their Saturday card, and the bluegrass was the feature, but this is the undercard race, race three. It's a maiden special weight going six and a half furlongs on the dirt. We're going to break these horses from the gate, and I want to focus on the number three in this race as well. That is Unembellished, who's making his debut for Jack Sisterson and Calumet Farm. And you can see the start for this horse is just a disaster. He hops up at the start, is off about two to three lengths slowly behind the field, but after that, he gets extremely aggressive under his rider, Adam Biskitza, and rushes up to contest the pace, but there's nowhere to go because there's a wall of horses in front of him, so he rushes up into traffic. He has to slam on the brakes, and you see Adam Biskitza is leaning back in the stirrups, trying to get a handle on this horse, and you see on the bottom portion of the screen that chestnut head at the back of on the right side between horses going up and down. When you see a horse's head bobbing up and down like that, that's a sign that a horse really is not settled, and the jockey is trying to get him to relax, and the horse is just fighting the rider the entire way and refusing him. Finally, as they come around the far turn, Unembellished does settle down a little bit, but his race is basically over at this point because after that poor start, having used that energy on the backstretch to rush up into contention and then fighting his rider for about three furlongs, he just has no energy left for the stretch of this race. And you see Biskitza is asking him a little bit here as they come to the quarter pole, but he senses the race is basically over and he's just going to ease this horse down to the wire and he's going to fade to finish last in this race. Now, don't be too deterred by the fact that this horse crosses the wire in last place and is beaten by a country mile. Uh, I just don't think this was the right spot for this horse. Clearly, he needed this debut experience. But furthermore, beyond that, I think he's going to appreciate a surface switch in the future. This horse had been training quite a lot on the turf course at Palm Meadows down in Florida all winter for Jack Sisterson, worked in company a little bit with some nice horses that are also in that barn. But watching some of those workouts on XBTV, he showed a really nice turf stride uh, racing over the grass in those morning workouts. So I think he's going to pre appreciate a surface switch. And also when you look at his pedigree, he's by Street Boss, who is a 
versatile sire of both dirt and turf runners. And his dam was actually third in the group one Phillies mile over in England when she was a two-year-old. His second dam, Spain, she was a Breeders' Cup Distack winner, but all of her progeny almost have excelled on the turf and have been good turf producers. So I think this horse unembellished is really going to appreciate a surface switch down the line when he gets onto the green stuff. Well, those are just two horses to watch for this week. Uh, hopefully we'll have some more trips to analyze in the future. But remember, if you want to follow these horses, both Nemo's Fortune and Unembellished, you can add them to your horse watch on drep.com. Just go to uh, horse watch on the website and you can add these horses to your watch mail in the list. You can get email updates when they work or when they're entered and run back in the future. And that's how I like to follow these horses when they make their future starts. Well, thanks for tuning in this week and make sure to watch out for more episodes of Horses to Watch on future Wednesdays.